What's up everyone? I don't even know if I'm gonna put this one on YouTube, but this is definitely, definitely something I wanna to react to. Just saw this pop up on my YouTube feed, Jimin on Jimmy Fallon. So that's pretty exciting. That's pretty damn exciting, it's a big deal. So this should be cool, I'm excited for Jimin. Let's get into this. Crazy. That you know from BTS. Please welcome Jimmy. <laughs> okay. Jimmy. Wild seeing Jim in here. How cool is this? He looks pretty comfortable strolling out in his uh, little dance routine there. Very cool to see. Uh, I'm sure there was a lot of nerves that accompanied this, but he certainly is presenting as, as quite loose so far. And uh, Jimmy, if I know anything about Jimmy Fallon, he's really good at making his guests feel comfortable. So I'd imagine he had quite a bit of time with Jimin before this interview. Uh, anyway, so this, this is just awesome. Welcome, yeah, Jimin, Jimin, yeah. welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Thank you. The last time... It's interesting because his movements feel like they're very in sync. Like if you watch him move, just shifting his body, it's like everything... It's almost like he's, he's choreographing a dance routine here. It's like boom, boom, boom. If you go back, you can kind of see him just sort of smoothly transitioning to Jimmy. And I think Jimin's like pretty conscious of those movements. Although if you look at his face, he looks like, if you look just at his facial expressions, that he's, he's quite at ease. Again, it feels like he's a bit rehearsed, but he's so conditioned to it that he's actually comfortable within that. He's comfortable within that self-awareness. Anyway, Something I'm going to think about a little bit more, but just looking at his movements, that's what I see. We could be uh, nominated thanks to uh, fans' great support. I appreciate them. Yeah. I will say you have, you have the greatest fans. Yeah. You have the, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> more, I'm sure more Grammy nominations on the way, by the way. This is fantastic. Uh, and thank you for always being supportive uh, of us, because uh, uh, we have similar names, so I'm very, very excited. <laughs> yeah, so Jim, and I don't know if you noticed, like a few times throughout this interview so, so far, he sort of put his hands on his knees and moved forward and adjusted himself. He's interesting. Jimin's an interesting one. I think there's a little bit of a juxtaposition in how he presents himself, because there's, there's this real comfortability in the way he presents himself. Sometimes if you just look at him at a glance, he looks like really calm and at ease. But I think he's conditioned himself to look that way. And even when he came in through the doors, he was sort of dancing. It's someone who would feel a little bit looser would do. But then if you look a little bit more closely and you see those movements of him sort of getting comfortable and you know adjusting himself, right? I, I think that's sort of how he's conditioned himself to mask some of that discomfort. He does it in this like really kind of fashionable, um, uh, seamless way. But I think he is a little nervous here, right? I think he is a little nervous. But uh, I, I know uh, the, the, the rest of the guys are, are concentrating on their solo projects currently, but are you in contact? Do you talk every day? We keep in touch. Yeah. Uh, Good for Jim, man. I didn't realize his uh, English was at this level. This is solid. This is really solid. I don't think I've actually heard him speak English 
uh, for more than a sentence or two at the most. So the fact that he seems to be understanding all of this and responding, uh, very cool. But I want to know more of your story, okay? Uh, I was, uh, was, was making music always the plan for... Look at that Look at this guy. That's a kid. Yeah. Oh, but, this is me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, was making music uh, always the plan for this little man? And also, when did you realize... Yeah, I think just looking at his body language there, if you look at his left leg, I think he's like thinking about whether to put it up or cross his leg. I think he's sort of in, in no man's land there with his left leg figuring out what to do. I think he's, again, searching for um, a way to just put himself at ease, to soothe himself. But props to him. You know, because I know he is a guy who probably is a little bit more self-aware and conscious uh, than some of the other members. So really, this is an awesome step for him coming out here, speaking English on national television, on Jimmy Fallon, big time. When did you realize how talented you were? Mm, when I was in middle school, yeah. mm, <laughs> I found interesting dance and since then it was always my dream to perform on stage yeah always and could you imagine how big it's gotten oh t t no. <laughs> no 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 it's the biggest thing in the world uh uh jim and you have although he might be battling with nerves a little he's still got this really calming presence about him that's the interesting thing about Jimin. That's sort of an interesting contrast that I was alluding to earlier. There's some people who feel uneasy and anxious, they kind of make you feel uneasy and anxious. You know, when someone's a little bit more at ease, it oftentimes can put you at ease. And Jimin, although he might be battling with some nerves and some discomfort here, he gives off this really sort of calming energy. So he's a rare specimen in that way. My favorite nickname is Jimin Fallon. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I didn't make him say that. I did not make him say that. That's so good, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Very graceful, isn't he? Just those little movements. He's so graceful. Um, yeah, he's keeping up with the banter here. He's doing a great job, man. And part of why I feel like he's giving off this sort of calming energy and the way he's delivering this message seems like he's at ease is because of the pace in his speech. It was always my dream to perform on stage. It doesn't feel rushed. It feels like when he's speaking, it's in control. You know, he's speaking at a, a pretty slow pace. You know, a lot of the time, those people are seen as confident, comfortable speakers. They're not rushing through their words or their speech. People, people go nuts for you. They freak out when they see you. I was... They... <laughs> He's right here, I know. I freak out. I'm freaking out, too. I'm freaking out right now. Is, is there anyone that, that, you, uh, that you have met that you get starstruck when you've met? Oh, first, uh, Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, you, you're so funny and sweet. Thank you. And, and... Who for real, though? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's doing a great job, man. He's doing a great job here. And he's, again, he's not seeming to get flustered when he's processing the English. And I like how he kind of played with Jimmy Fallon there, right? Just sort of charming him a bit. Jimmy asks who he's starstruck by. Jimin says Jimmy. So, you know, we're seeing some of that Jimin charm come through as well. You know, he's very sweet about it. And he has no problem, like, engaging people directly in that way. He's very open about being playful and flirtatious and very gentle when he does it. Uh, you, you're so funny and sweet. But he's direct. He lets you know that he's a fan of you. He lets you know that he enjoys your presence. Jimin is that one guy who makes it very clear that he appreciates the other person or the people that he's speaking with. You know, he's always sort of got that, it feels like, top of mind. That's something I can really appreciate about him. And you love to be around a person like that.
So I think that's part of what makes Jimin special. I've talked about that before. Can you talk about the inspiration for this album and, and what, what it represents to you? Absolutely. Yeah, he's he's just the way he communicates. It's very soft and gentle and easy to listen to. You know, it's very inviting. And although, you know, there's this level of, of self-awareness to him and maybe a bit of anxiety and nerves, when he speaks, I don't ever really get the sense that he makes other people around him feel uncomfortable or uneasy. It's like he, he's able to, to just mask those nerves in that way and that sort of um, self-awareness really, really, really well. When, when you have a new song, do you play it for the rest of BTS? And do you listen to anyone else? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but even when Jimin speaks, there's still like this like hint of mischievousness. Mischievousness? There's a hint of mischief when he speaks. Yeah, so he's still got that charm. Like, he's 95% innocent, you know? But still, he's got that sort of smile of mischief, just a bit on his face that he keeps. So I think that kind of adds to his mystery. I've commented on Jimin being a bit mysterious to me before. There's still a bit of mystery there. Because sometimes when he speaks... You, you see that, and, and when he was explaining the album and the process, you saw him kind of smiling. So he's aware of his charm. I think that's part of his charm. It might be a small part of his sort of mask in a way, but there's still a mischief to him that's certainly charming. Okay, yeah, let's go. Okay. Jimin and his element here. <laughs> Incredible. I'm excited to listen to it. <laughs> Woo! Go Jimin! Yeah! Good for him, man. Good for him. Let me know what you guys think of the album. I'm going to have to give that a listen soon, 100%. Again, like Jimin, still, there's still this mystery to him. He, he's, he's still a little bit of a puzzle to me. Because again, I think he's so... Um, self-aware. I think he's very self-aware. I don't know if self-conscious is necessarily the right descriptor, but self-aware. He's aware of his movements. He's aware of his image. And although if you look closely, yeah, you can detect a little bit of discomfort. I think ultimately he's gotten to a place where he's comfortable within the discomfort. He kind of just forces himself to get out there and do his thing regardless. And that's not easy. So props to him. But either way, he's just got such a calming way of speaking to me that I love listening to him. He's such a, a sweet, sincere guy. And it was just really fun seeing him on the Jimmy Fallon show here. So I hope you guys enjoyed that too. And guys, for all my uncut BTS reactions, if you're interested, you can go straight to my Patreon link below. Other than that, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.